the iit dream 2 years in isolation 50 chapters 500 mock tests 50000 questions because of this i spent four amazing years in goa but every time i end up thinking what if i had been to an iit My JE mains in January was the worst possible exam that I had written in my entire life. I had no possible prime time management. I was extremely stressed out. I was completely heartbroken. Everything that I had prepared for in the last two years it just came crumbling down. And my parents had invested so much money in me, and I went off from home to a new place just so that I can prepare for this exam. And this is one exam that I had to ace, and at that exam I had messed up so badly. and the reason i made a lot of mistakes in jee means from a technical point of view but then there were a lot of things that i could have done better in the jee means exam and as you write the jee means exam this year there are some very very important things that you need to note and if you watch the video till the very end i'm sure you will at least increase your marks by at least 30 to 50 marks that is a gamble that i can give you my first attempt in jee means went horrible But in my second attempt, I got more than ninety nine point three plus percentile, and I got an ninety three three. Make sure to watch the video till the very end. Make sure to subscribe to this channel so that you can get more informative content. The first mistake that I made was a lack of proper time management. My time management skills were extremely poor throughout the paper. I had missed a lot of easy questions when I looked at the paper after I had done the exam. And whenever you solve an exam like J means, you will find that there are a lot of easy questions that can pick up and solve it. Just in the beginning of the exam, as I know that you guys have a lot of tough questions. You will get a lot of marks. Every question has four marks, and even if you do tough questions or easy questions, you can get the same amount of marks. Means you will find that most of the questions come under the medium section. So it's very important for you to find the easy questions first and target them. You will find at least thirty-five to forty questions in the easy sections for sure. You will find there are at least thirty questions which are very easy to solve. You can solve under. One and a half minutes to two minutes, which are of NCERT level. You'll find some of the questions like this over here, and I've attached the question paper in the link in the description as well. This is a past year paper that I checked, and I I solved the question paper completely, and I analyzed it deep down. There are generally very easy questions from chapters like optics and modern physics and kinematics that you can easily take on. Since these questions are simple, it'll take you less than one and a half minutes to two minutes to solve these questions. You will find many questions like. You'll be given the time period, find the total range, and you'll be given a circuit, find the current passing through it. These are very simple questions, and even if you have a basic command over NCERT, you should be able to solve these questions with ease. So make sure you don't miss out on questions like these. And in chapters like mathematics, you'll find 3D geometry, vectors, which are extremely easy, and even questions like coordinate geometry, which have direct formula substitution. So make sure to take maximum advantage of these kind of chapters and. capitalize on them and how exactly do you, do you pick the right questions you have to solve the questions in three different sections which means that you have to solve you should have seen the entire paper at least three different times and what do you mean by seeing the paper in three different times see when you see the screen you will find only one question at a time you won't be able to see multiple questions and this is a real problem and if you want to get over this problem you need to be able to identify what are the questions that you can solve in less than 10 seconds and once you identify what are the problems that you can solve very easily solve them as quickly as possible preferably in less than 1 minute if you can if you can solve the easy questions in less than a minute you will be able to see the paper multiple times and by seeing the paper multiple times you will not miss the fact you will not miss questions especially if the questions are easy you will spot them and attack them as quickly as possible and ideally speaking this first flip of the entire paper should happen within the first 1 hour in the first 1 hour if you're tar- tar- targeting a very good score you should have solved at least 30 of these type of questions and if you're not targeting a good score please don't watch this video and once you've attacked all the easy questions let's move on to the medium questions the medium questions generally come from certain tough topics that you guys know of in physics it can be something like rotational mechanics a simple harmonic motion and in maths there are definitely some questions in integration which will definitely trouble you they have put in their questions purposely so that you guys spend a lot of time on them 
भाई अगर नहीं हो रहा है तो मूव ऑन कर लेना भाई अगर क्यों खड़ा है उस पर चल ही गया ना फिर क्या प्रॉब्लम है यू हैव टू अंडरस्टैंड वॉट आर द क्वेश्चन टू चूज देर आर सम क्वेश्चन इफ यू नीड टू स्किप दम मेक श्योर स्किप दम इजिली बी अराउंड ट्वेंटी क्वेश्चन सो बाई द एंड ऑफ टू आवर्स यू शेव सॉल्व एटलीस्ट फिफ्टी टू फिफ्टी फाइव क्वेश्चन and the last one are make sure you devoted to the hard questions and this is for someone who is targeting the top 2000 the top 3000 ranks or even the top 1000 ranks because if you don't solve these type of questions then you will never be able to get in the top 1000 and the only kind of people who can solve these questions are people who have prepared for je advance as well and if you have extra time make sure to solve previous year je advance questions as well because there are questions in je advance which come in je mains as well because there are people who said the papers they look clearly into single correct questions and numerical questions in je advance and then they nicely pick those questions and then they just change the numerical values and then they put in the je mains paper and since there are different different slots the amount of questions that can be arranged are significantly constrained and because of this you can look at the other previous papers that you have Like suppose it say your slot is on the fourth day or the fifth day, then you can look at the other previous papers and you can learn from there and you can improve on that. Yeah, let's come to the second most important point. All of you are stressed out. All of you are under incredible amount of stress and pain right now, and I resonate with that because we've all been there. but you have to understand that this is an exam which is going to completely change your life and if i had not done well in je main or bit sat i and i wouldn't be sitting here in bangalore in a fancy it company making big bucks so it's important for you to understand that this pain that you're going through is very very important right now and if you're someone who's stressed out and for me my mind used to keep wandering around everywhere and my I used to get stressed out very often, and I, even when someone was teaching in the classroom, I was zoned out somewhere else. So make sure to exercise and make sure to do breathing exercises so that your mind is under control. Because if your mind is not under control and if your body is not under control, you will not be at your best, and because of that, your performance will get inhibited during the exam. because you might think that instead of sleeping for an extra one hour maybe i'll just try studying more or maybe if i study more i'll get more marks but at this point of time it honestly doesn't make a difference i'll be very honest with you whatever your ma- rank and your marks are going to be the cumulative effort of the last 2 years it's not going to be because of the effort that you're going putting in the 2 weeks from now on so make sure to use this time only for revision do not go chapter wise during the last 2 weeks i will make it clear once again do not study things chapter wise in the last 2 weeks because there are too many fucking chapters in je mains and you will not be able to clear every every chapter you will always have doubts in some chapter or the other you will think that maybe i can do some extra questions i can get this better i can get that better done but no solve mock papers solve previous je main questions solve je advanced questions solve bit sat questions that's how you move forward if you start banking too much on chapter wise questions you are going to fail so badly and that's what i did i went chapter wise i started from kinematics and i went till modern physics by doing chapter wise questions in the last two weeks please avoid doing this at all costs the reason is because only when you solve papers your mind will be fine tuned to solving the final exam if you start doing papers now you will be in a position to do extremely well in the exam as well if you go on doing chapter wise you have to realize that you are not situated in a position to do well in the exam because you have to switch context very quickly you have to switch from kinematics to optics to modern physics rotational mechanics and then from there you have to go from something completely new like thermodynamics or heat and now you have to go from heat to something like current electricity and then then magnetism 
So these are completely different, different topics. And if you're not prepared from a paper-wise point of view, you are going to fail. That's point number one. So what are the papers that you need to practice? That is the most important question. Start by solving J mains in 2019. 2019 was the year that I wrote J mains and that was the year NTA started. That's if you start solving J mains questions in the last four years, I'm sure by the end of the next two weeks, you'll be in a very, very good position to get at least 175 above out of 300. The reason why I'm saying 175 is because getting 175 is a very decent score in an exam by means. Maybe not enough to get a great NIT and computer science, but still it's a very beautiful start. I know you guys are probably stressed out, but these three important, these three things are very, very important. And I wish somebody had told me this when I was preparing for J means. And if it's gonna, if it helped you even a little bit, make sure to consider subscribing to this channel because there's gonna be a lot of amazing information that's gonna come up related to J means, J advanced, BitSat. There's gonna be a lot of helpful resources. There's gonna be a lot of amazing people who come from these colleges who are going to give you amazing, amazing advice to track these kind of exams. So make sure to stay tuned and make sure to subscribe as well. I'll see you guys.